G'day folks and uh, welcome to Gourmet Shed and this week what we're looking at is uh, five minute weathering and the way we're doing that is with pastels and they are chalk pastels now I've done weathering with chalk pastels in a video some time ago and I've used hairspray to seal it but this method uh, is slightly different and it's actually reversible as well now this is an example of the weathering that uh, can be achieved with this method this is just an old mainline wagon and folks this was done in about five minutes so if I don't like the look of that weathering or if I want to sell the wagon on in pristine condition it's just a matter of uh, giving the wagon a good wash under some warm water and all that will come off so this system is reversible folks and uh, you can actually use it uh, in other ways as well. I mean I've just done these little um, Nissen huts. Now the brick uh, was weathered with uh, chalk pastels. Uh, initially the, the brick was sprayed with about three different tones of brown and then uh, the, uh, the mortar was added and then I went over it with um, uh, chalk pastels uh, using this same sort of method and did the roof as well. So we'll have a look at um, an example and uh, we'll get into that now. Now folks to get this uh, system to work what we need is an old paintbrush just an ordinary old artist paintbrush and this one's actually had its day it's got a bit of uh, paint that's dried in the end of the bristles there so what I'm going to do is just cut those bristles down quite short so that it makes it a stiff little brush just get them all off there. Right, so we've got just a stiff little brush here now. And um, I'll use that to rub into the chalk pastels to apply them to the wagon. Okay folks, you'll notice that I've got my wagon set up here now and ready to go. I've got my chalk pastels set up here. I, I'd like, like to use these colours here, the orange for rust. There's another orange here for rust and black and various shades of brown. There's even some white in this box and I've also got uh, some other ones here which are various shades of grey and, and white etc. So it'll be a combination of all those things. So what we'll probably do is um, start with the, the chassis and uh, I'll add some, some brown to the chassis. Hopefully you can see this. And just dust it on there and you can see that I just rub the brush into the pastel brush it on fairly liberally and we'll get a bit of uh, rust on there as well now it's up to you how much you put on because a lot of this will blow off as well now I'll get a bit of the, uh, the lighter rust colour and just go around near some of the brake gear and everything. And then um, have a look at the ends. Just add some on there as well, a bit underneath. Right. Now while we're on this side, uh, I'll grab some brown and just drag it down vertically, above, especially above the lettering and down the sides of the, the wagon here. And maybe a bit of the lighter rust colour. Try and get it everywhere, folks. Depends how much weathering you want bit more. I've got some dark brown here. I'll get onto that. And just um, some lighter brown. Generally just mix it up folks and get a bit of a blend. I mean I've got some black here now. You just rub the brush into it. And I don't know whether you can pick that up on the camera but it's it's dirtying up the letters on the wagon.
get down into the little nooks and crannies if you can. So, it's starting to look the business there folks. Now while we're here, we'll get onto the top. Every now and again you can, you can just literally blow this off. Just blow on it and blow some of it off to sort of um, clear the excess out of it. Now I might use some of the, the rust on this bit here. And around there. I'm just mixing it up folks as we go. Don't know how long we've been doing this now, but I don't think it's very long. And we've already got a significant bit on there. I might just take some white now to put some sort of um, extra streaks and stuff on it. Right. Okay, so now we'll turn it around and do the other side. Don't forget we've got to do the ends as well. So it's just repeating the same process, folks. Of course, we've got to um, have a crack at the ends as well. Otherwise, it's not going to look right, is it? So I'll get some black on those numbers. Some more brown down here under the buffer beam, etc. And just following the same process, folks, as we go. A bit of rust here. And of course we'll do exactly the same on the other end. And you can see it's not it's not taking very long at all to uh, to get here with this. Some dark brown in there, all down around the buffer beam like we did before. Oh, we missed a bit over there. Now, I think I might add some more white. Just blow it off. Some of it catches in in some of the little areas there, so it um, it actually works quite well. This um, wagon's had a hard life, folks. I think that might do for this one. So let's have a good look at it. So there we are, folks. That's. Uh how it's come up and as I say that's reversible and if I just turn it around we can have a look at the end so yeah that's typical of the end that's the other side looks like it's had a hard life so it's as simple as that folks, and uh, if I want to take this off, I'll just take it inside with a little paintbrush and uh, get some warmish water, or just cold water, it doesn't matter, and just uh, slowly rinse that off. So that's all there is to it. Cheers, Gourmet.